not just smoking pot. You know, this is really a movement. They came, they smoked, they marched. You're 66 year old, you smoke yeah. pot every day? Well, I try to. The old cliche, smoke them if you got them, was pretty much the mantra today. The Global Marijuana March gathered at Queen's Park at high noon before taking over the streets, led by one massive doobie. What do you say to people at home that are like, ah, it's just a bunch of hippies and teenagers sitting in a park getting high all day? You know what? I would say to them, it, it, it's absolutely a myth and a misconception. What do you make of this? Well, I'm from Mississippi, so uh, we don't see this every day down south. It's great to see that uh, the Canada allows people to, to uh, exercise their freedom of speech, and uh, so yes, we're quite encouraged by it. All the smoking and toking took place today in the face of a sizable yet tolerant police presence. You don't plan on making any arrests today for someone smoking a joint? No, we do not. So sure there's a lot of toking going on today as well as tolerance from the authorities. But those leading today's marijuana movement here in Toronto are calling out the federal government for the recent health Canada changes to the medicinal program as well as their mandatory minimums for law possession. So a lot of Canadians probably don't believe you could get three months like I did for passing one joint and they probably are unaware that a second trafficking offense could get me several years mandatory minimum in prison. Known as the Prince of Pot, marijuana advocate Mark Emery served five years in a U.S. prison for selling mail order cannabis seeds. These are still mass acts of civil disobedience. It's not legal to possess marijuana. There are five natural adversaries. Emery sees the federal liberals push for legalization as promising but he says the federal government's Bill C-10 which mandates minimum sentences for marijuana is completely out of touch with the times. Criminal code offenses would still be available to police. Certainly if everybody here were wearing a suit and were from the business class, well there probably wouldn't be a prohibition. Until this is all eliminated, until the prohibition is over, we got to have these big meetings and smoke a lot of pot. For those leading today's marijuana movement like Mark Emery, they say their final goal is for marches like this to cease to exist. It's then they say they will know they have won their fight to legalize marijuana. On Blur Street, Adrian Gobriel, City News.